Hey everyone, it's Megan. I'm doing a real quick video here to show you a somewhat quick way to label your tabs in Exoto on Android when you're starting a new planner. There's been a few questions that I've seen off and on in the group on how to label your tabs when you're starting a new planner. Now this will work. I'm doing it today in the DPC Digital's a Slim Navy Notebook, but this these tips are going to apply um, regardless what planner you're using, landscape, portrait, slim. Um, it, it all works the same. So I've typed out some text here in individual boxes, as you can see, just to save time for the video. And the way that I did that is I go up here to those three dots on the top right. I go to Edit Pages and Rotate. And then you want to go to 90 degrees to be able to do the left pages. <coughs> oh, goodness. And that turns your page so that as you're doing your text, here we can do here, we'll just do test. Now this is in white so that they showed up on my tabs here. But you can see if I put that up there, um, text go in the correct direction. And we do that by rotating. All right, so I'm going to rotate it back. And I have my tabs. Now, because we don't have the wonderful master option that I believe it's Zoom Notes has on Apple, we have to do ours a little bit different. Um, like I said, there's no easy way to do it. You're going to do this page by page. But what I found is that this works as quick as possible to do it. I like to do it before I set up my planner so that I'm only doing this once because every time you add pages, you're going to add to your number that you're going to have to do this. If, once you get it on your template, then it's there. And when you go to duplicate that template to make a new page for a spread, all your tabs are already labeled. So there are a couple different ways to do this. It really depends on how fancy you want to get and how much time you want to put into this. So I have some text there that is an option or on this page I've done just numbers and then the labels would go here under the divider section you can do a mix match of the two it's really up to you and what you're looking for in your planner all right so I'm going to go back to this one and this is going to be the quick and dirty easiest way to do it there's going to be some, um, it's not going to be perfect, so keep that in mind, but this is probably the quickest way. So I'm going to take a screenshot for me on my phone that is down volume and power button at the same time. And I'm able to bring up where I can edit it right away. If you don't have that option, just go into your gallery and click crop now what i've done is you can see i'm taking off that page as much as i can even to the point where i'm maybe taking a smidge off the tab and that's okay but you do want to make sure that top and bottom you are right at that page that you're not um, into that gray area from the um, this extra spot here that's not actually on your page. And you won't be able to extend your image for that. So let me go to a blank page here that I don't have labeled. Or we'll go to this one here. Okay, so when I said the that this is the quick and dirty way to do it, but it's not perfect, here is why. So let's go to image, like we're gonna do any sticker, and this one is stored in my screenshots. And I'm just going to drag this the full length of my screen. And because I was very careful to make sure that I got it perfect, this 
is going to just line up perfectly and there you go that one's labeled you can if you like that and you're good go up to the three dots and hit flatten that is never going to move and you are set now we move this back off a little bit so you can see when we're on a on a tab divider so we're on this first tab there we go um, the color changes it actually goes in the navy notebook it goes to gray whereas on the first page that we were doing it on that's still that navy blue if that doesn't bother you by all means use this method it is quick and you're gonna be done so what I like to do before I flatten copy this sticker I would flatten that page go to the next page hit paste work a little bit here to line it up flatten that page go on to the next all the way down through the line and then you would just go back to your beginning so that none of the tabs are different colored here on this side rotate your planner the other direction type out your words or your numbers however you're doing it and that same process screenshot or uh, crop it down as tight as you can page wise and I say the pages is the big thing because if you were to leave the pages on there when you get to this chalkboard you're going to have that white carryover the same here for the craft page if that doesn't bother you then by all means um you know, then that's not something that you'd have to worry about. But I know for me, it bothers me. <laughs> I wasn't as exact when I was doing it um, in one of my other notebooks. And so when I went, got to these pages, these little um, back pages that you can see, that design element, those are white on mine. Not a big deal, but for some people that could bother you. So you go back to where I was so yeah you could just um, do that image and make it you're essentially making it into a sticker when you take a screenshot of it and bring it in like that so that is the quickest way now if you want to be more exact and say you want that tab color to show through we have to do a little bit more work so we already have our screenshot. I'm going to go into an app that I like to use here, Background Eraser. And I'm going to, if you get an ad, it does have ads, just backspace it. Complete, it lets you get out of that pretty quickly. So I'm going to find my screenshot here. Okay, so I have cropped this. That page all the way off and you want to bring this as small as you can um, it just makes it a little bit easier all right so that is as small as I can go I'm gonna to go to auto and you can remove the planner background you can also remove the blue or whatever color your tabs are behind your text now one thing is you are going to want to zoom in here and see where the color shows through on these other letters. You would want to go in and remove that as well. Just pinch and zoom and go um, through each of that with your auto tool. Um, another thing that you may or may not want to do is go to manual. And then you can really fine tune that and get all of the tab color around here um, so that when you go to line it up, you have nothing that is getting in the way. Again, this is really just how much time do you want to put in to making this be the way that you want it. Um, there's... You know, there's no right or wrong way. There's your way. What works for you, that's what matters. Okay. Um, 
Now, if I, oops, wrong tool, hit the backspace, get rid of that auto. If I were not to remove in between these letters, that dark blue is going to show up on those other colored tabs when you're on that main tab page. So keep that in mind. So here, all I've removed, you can, we'll zoom in and see, all I've removed is the background tab color and the planner base color. I've left everything else. The desk is going to line up just fine. Um, and some of them here I've removed the in-between and the colors. The other ones I have not. Now you can get a little fancy in here and adjust these smoothness numbers. The higher you go, the more detail you're going to lose. Play with it to the level that you are comfortable with it. Of course, if we go all the way to five, our text isn't there anymore. So I typically do one or zero, really depending. I'm going to do zero so that we don't lose any um, resolution or any value to our text. I'm going to go back to my Exoto. And I'm going to go, let's find here. I'm going to scroll really fast. I apologize. All right, so we are on a blank page that nothing is labeled. And there's that different tab color that we were talking about. So I'm going to go to gallery. These are going to be saved in their own separate folder most times called eraser. Well, that's at least from my app. Your app may be a little bit different. Same thing as before. Ooh, we're getting a little weird there. Okay, so same thing as before. You're just going to line it up because we have removed the tab colors we can really get in here and line this up the way that we want now you can see on these that we didn't remove the colors in between the letters you can't tell because that tab is dark and it just matches right up along the only one that you can tell here i'm going to zoom in really far is here on that weekly um where the, um, the tab is a different color behind it. And using white so that it shows up on the darker tabs is not going to show up as well here on that one. So I'm just playing with this here to see if I can get this lined up the way that I like it because I did not remove that stitching. So you, you're seeing double of that, but... You know, that doesn't, wouldn't bother me too much because I'm going to be zoomed out most of the time and I'm not going to see that. So same as before with just the plain screenshot. Copy this. Make sure to flatten it so that it's not going anywhere. Go to your next page. Paste it like a sticker, which it is now. And line them back up. Go all the way through on one side and then rotate your planner, go and do the other side. So just the same way that we were talking. Now this method works if you did the text here or if you're doing the numbers. All right, so that is really just the quick way to do it. It depends on how much time you want to put into setting up your planner and the look that you're going for. All right. If you have any questions, guys, go ahead and let me know and I will either make another video to explain something a little bit better or um, see how I can help you. Thanks, guys.